Welcome again to this ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to generate the token for the forward password and how to send the email for the forward password to the user. Let's open the Visual Studio. To work on the forward password functionality, first of all, we need to create a page where we will ask the user to enter his email ID so that we can send an email on his email ID. And in that email, there will be a link. Once the user will click on that link, then we will verify some details with the help of token and user id then user can enter the new password and confirm password and then only he will be able to generate his new password so this is the complete flow of forgot password and let's start from collecting the user's email id so we can start by creating a new model in our application so here we can give it a name like forgot password model And in this model, we can add two properties. First property is for the user's email. Let's add a few validations over here. We can also add one more flag over here and we can use that flag to display a success message once the email will be sent on the user's email ID. So we can write like email sent perfect now let's go back to the account controller and over here we can create one more action method let's quickly add one method for the post and over here we can use the same model that we have just created for good password model and then the model over here we can check let's quickly add its view right click then choose add view click on this razor view again click on the add button so here we can choose the template for the create and let's choose the model class that is forgot password click on the add button over here we can use the same model to display the alert message Now we can add the link of this forgot password in login page so let's open the login page here we are and over here we can just copy this line paste it again over here and over here we can write the name of our forgot password action method the name is forgot password so we can either copy it from here and let's paste it over here perfect now let's run this application by pressing ctrl f5 click on the login button and this time here you can see we have one more link for the forgot password let's click on this link Here we have our forgot password page here we have one text box then over here we have one button let's click on the continue button this time you can see that we have the validation message like the registered email address field is required here let's enter some wrong data and immediately you can see we have one more validation message like this is not a valid email address okay so if i'm entering a valid email address like test at the rate test.com then click on the continue button here you can see that we have the success message also now the only pending thing is that we have to work on the backend functionality so that we can generate a code and send an email to the user let's work on that functionality now to generate the token for the forgot password we have to go to the account repository and here we are in the repository folder let's open the account repository we can copy this method paste it again and 
This time here we can write generate forgot password token async. And in the user manager, we can again write generate password reset token async. This method will generate a new token that is required for the password reset and we can send that token in the user's email id so we can generate one more method over here so let's copy this method paste it again let's give it a name okay so we have to do couple of things in our email setting also we have to add one more email template let's open the template folder and here let's add one more template new item search for the html file here let's give it a name So we have designed this very basic email template over here. Now let's go back to the email service. The services are available inside this service folder. We are in this email service and over here we can just copy this method, paste it again. Let's update the name. Here we can update the subject so what is the name of our template it is forgot password here we can write the name perfect now we have to add this method in our interface also so let's open the interface We are done with the email service. The only pending thing is that we have to add a new key in our app settings for the reset password page. Let's open the config file. So here we are in the app settings.json and we are using this section to define all these settings. So here I can just copy this line, paste it again over here and I can update the name like forgot password or reset password. Writing the name is up to you and suppose the route will be reset password okay so let's copy this key again go back to our account repository and so here we are in the send forgot password email method and this time i have to read the value from this forgot password perfect now let's use this send forgot email in our method perfect now let's add this method in i account repository Let's go back to the account controller. So here, first of all, we need to validate whether user is registered or not with us. We can find out easily by using one method that we have already created in our account repository. So let's do that where user is equals to account repository dot get user by email async. And the email is available in this model dot email property. Okay, so if this value is not null, it means user is not equal to null, then if the user is not null, it means we have some value in our database related to this particular email ID. Perfect. Then here we can call the method to generate the link account repository dot generate forgot password token async. And in this method, we can pass the user details. Let's use the await keyword everywhere. Now here are a couple of scenarios. Suppose the user is not registered with us and in that scenario you want to display a message like you are not registered with us and you have to sign up. Then we can update our model setting over here based on this user value and we can display a message. But in some scenarios for the security purpose, we generally do not disclose whether a user is registered or not with us. So in that scenario what we will do, we can update the message in such a way that it will work in both the scenario. How? Let's right click on this one and choose go to view. So here we can update a message like if you are registered with us, if you are registered with us then we have sent an email on your registered email address. Let's run this application by pressing Ctrl F5 and let's open our email inbox click on the login button again click on this forgot password here we can enter our email address like ravi at the rate test.com click on the continue button okay so here we have a message like if you are registered with us then we have sent an email on your registered email id 
ओके लेट्स गो बैक टू आर ई मेल बॉक्स एंड हेयर यू कैन सी वी हैव वन ई मेल लुक्स लाइक देर इज सम प्रॉब्लम इन आर ई मेल टेम्पलेट लेट्स ओपन द ई मेल सर्विस वी फोर गो टू अपडेट दिस मैथड ओवर हेयर लेट्स अपडेट इट परफेक्ट लेट्स अगेन बिल्ड द सोल्यूजन एंड रन दिस एप्लीकेशन अगेन बाई प्रेसिंग कंट्रोल एफ फाइव अगेन क्लिक ऑन द लॉग इन बटन वो टू द फोर गोड पासवर्ड पेज एंटर द ई मेल आई डी क्लिक ऑन द कंटिन्यू बटन लेट्स वेरीफाई द ई मेल अगेन सो हियर वी हैव वन वैलिड ई मेल लाइक हेलो रवि री सेट योर पासवर्ड एंड हियर इज द बॉडी देन वी हैव सम डिटेल्स इन द लिंक एंड हियर यू कैन नोटिस दैट वी हैव द डोमेन ऑफ आर एप्लीकेशन देन वी हैव द री सेट पासवर्ड दिस इज द यू आर ऑफ आर एप्लीकेशन पेज देन वी हैव द यूजर आई डी एंड अगेन वी हैव द टोकन नो वी हैव टू वर्क ऑन द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस फॉर गुड पासवर्ड एंड वी हैव टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस री सेट पासवर्ड सो दैट यूजर कैन एंटर द न्यू पासवर्ड एंड कन्फर्म दैट न्यू पासवर्ड एंड इफ एवरी थिंग इज वैलिड देन वी कैन अपडेट द पासवर्ड ऑफ द यूजर दैट इज ऑल इन दिस वीडियो मेक श्योर टू हिट द लाइक बटन योर फीडबैक और क्वेश्चन इन द कमेंट सेक्शन शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग हैव ए ग्रेट डे